Let's get this show started with the race that the whole nation is watching. Talking about the race for president, we have the races between former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. So right now we're going to break down these results two ways. First, we're going to start with the big picture, our national voters, and then we'll take a closer look at how Texans are voting. So let's zoom in to those central Texas counties. You can see not a whole lot of big surprises there, um, as it seems like our counties have historically gone red. Now, let's turn to the hotly contested race, though, for U.S. Senate. It is the state's biggest race. We know you've seen the ads. We've been covering these candidates as Senator Ted Cruz hopes to defend his seat against challenger Colin Allred. Now we know that Senator Ted Cruz is running for a third term and another six years in Congress. In his previous reelection run back in 2018, he went head to head against challenger Beto O'Rourke. Now that race had a lot of national attention, a lot of eyes on it. Democrats, they were honestly hopeful that O'Rourke could unseat Cruz. And for part of the night, well, O'Rourke, he was leading before rural Texas started to pour in with their votes. We know historically Democrats vote early and Republicans historically do vote on election day. But you're probably wondering right now, why are we talking about this? Well, this is all for context on tonight's results and why political analysts from around the nation are closely watching the Senate. So we know that in 2018, Cruz, he won with 51% of the vote, while O'Rourke fell short with 48%. As you're taking a look here at your screen, you can see that the pockets of blue are in the major populated areas that is including a Dallas as well as Houston. We know Harris County did go blue as well as the Austin area and San Antonio. Even along the southern border, there's we're taking a zoom and you can see Travis County. You can see a lot of that did go to all red, but those smaller rural counties, they maintain that deep, dark red presence, which means that they did vote for Cruz heavily. Now Cruz, he snagged his victory with more than 200,000 votes. Now combined, both candidates raised about $160 million for this race. A lot of money. This from the start of the last year in 2023 to just a few weeks ago on October 16th. Allred outraised Cruz by about nearly $15 million during that time. This according to our partners at the Texas Tribune, just trying to give you a little bit more background information on the candidates and their campaigns as a whole, which tracks data from the Federal Ethics Commission. Now, the Democrat reporting over $87 million in funds raised and the Republican raising nearly $73 million.